Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to install the Magic Info iPlayer on a Windows server. In order to get the software, you can head over to our website, click on services, installation, and get the software. Now I will fill in this form. And once I've done that, I will get an email with the link that will lead me to this page. Now here you will see the overview of the normal Magic Info software. So you will see the database, and the regular version of Magic Info. Now it also offers the Magic Info iPlayer, which indicates it's only usable for a Windows computer. So I will click on download and run the installation file. I will have to click on yes a couple of times in order to get the installer running. And with this installer, you can basically skip through the steps and the installation will run. Now once the installation is done, your server will restart. And it will ask you again to install three programs. So I will have to click on yes for three times. There you go. Now my server has been restarted and the three programs have been installed. And this is the program of Magic Info. Here at the bottom right corner, you will have three items. And if you right click on this one, click on setup and click on basic. It will open a window. Now the default login is six times zero. And here you can find the device name, the server settings. Now the server address in this case, was set to 0.6 and I will change it to a different server right here. Leave the port number as it is since I'm not making use of an SSL and click on apply. Now the configurator has also different options as you can see right here at play and admin. And once you're done, you can just exit and close this window. Now, if you go back to setup, and open the advanced settings, which also has the default login of six times zero. You can here also check the server address, the port, and in case you're using an SSL, you can select the port of 7002. And I click on apply just to be sure. Now here you will see my device name and the MAC address of my device, because when my Windows server will reach Magic Info, it will also show the MAC address again, which is something I have to use in order to apply the right device. So if I sign into Magic Info as a server administrator, go to my unapproved list, you can here see the iPlayer with the MAC address, which was added just two minutes ago. Now I will select my iPlayer and approve it and select it to a certain group within my organization. And hit OK. Now what I will do now is I will create a playlist. I have to select the iPlayer in this case. And I will just drag and drop my content items in here and adjust the time. Make sure to provide it with a name and hit save. Now what I will then do is create a new schedule, also select the iPlayer. And on the top left corner I will select playlist instead of content and drag and drop the playlist in here. I'll also provide the schedule with a name and select it to the group that my iPlayer is in. So I will hit save and publish, now it might take a little while for the server to download the content items and if I switch back to my server, as you can see, it's already showing the content items that I just put in the playlist and the playlist that I scheduled. So it will show these content items for a while. And this is how to install and get the content live on the Magic Info iPlayer. Now in a previous video, we also added a Beamer to our Windows laptop 
so you can show your content in a bigger resolution for example. Thanks for watching.